I'm here today to prove to my best friend that she doesn't need her boyfriend back. She wants him back because she wants to be able to raise the baby with both parents in the home. She needs to get rid of him because he's a level three sex offender, he beats the crap out of her, and beats the crap out of the baby. And it's unsafe to have any of the kids around him at all. So Brandy has been backstage, has not been watching this tape. Let's bring her out. How are you doing, Brandy? Good. Um, why are you here? Well, Steve, I'm here to prove to my boyfriend that I did not cheat on him. Um, why does he think you're cheating? <laughs> because my ex had moved back in. His name was on the lease. And I got accused of cheating because he moved of that back fact. in your apartment. Yes. And so while he was living with you, you didn't sleep with him. No. Um, no. Well, I'll have to say there was once, but a family member of uh, Robbie's had told me that he didn't want to be with me, that we were done. And so then you slept with your ex. Yes, and he actually Robbie knows about that, and I already told him about that. All right. I'm told he's abusive towards you, your boyfriend. Yes. And how was he abusive towards um, you? I got kicked in the back with steel toe shoes on. Um, I've gotten okay. my hair pulled. Right. Okay, and you're here today because you want to be with this guy? Yes. <laughs> let's, uh, let's look a little closer at that statement. You're five months pregnant, yes, right? Yes, I am. Currently. Um, and he kicked you with steel toe boots. Yes. He said he was trying to push me with them. <laughs> Okay, I mean, the fact is, steel toe boots, I mean, you probably kill somebody with steel toe boots, right? Oh, yes. I mean, I've, I've seen guys get killed with steel toe boots. They get kicked in the head, they die. Mm -hmm. This guy's kicking you, you're pregnant with his child, right? Yes. So he could kill you and the child. Yes. And you want to stay with him? Yes. Why? I love him, and uh, the main reason What's for the, the love? abuse. What's, when that steel toe boot is kicking you in the back of the head, are you loving it? No. <laughs> Let's talk to your boyfriend, Robert. You need to quit your damn lying, because I didn't kick you in your head. I push you with my boot. I never okay. hit you. I never punched you. You I have shoved, hit me. You have I slapped me. you. You want to hit me like a man, you're going to get hit back like a man. OK, you have punched me in my back. You have grabbed me by my hair. Yes. You came charging at me with my one-year-old standing in front of me. I pushed you. You grabbed me. How many times you punched me? You neck. choked me. You, you want to hit me like a man. You, you want to do stuff pregnant. like you're a man, you're going to get dealt like you're a man. And what if I said that you if you want to act like a punk, I'm going to treat you like a punk. Fine by me. That's my personal morals. A woman want to act like your a man, they're going to get dealt with like a man. Your personal morals. Yup. What's your personal morals? A female wants to act like a man and hit me like a man, she's going to get hit back like she's a man. And stay in the relationship. I try to avoid her and try to walk away, but she wants to follow me, keep Why pulling me, pushing me. Why are you here? To find out if she cheated on me and if the kid's mine or not. Who cares? I do. If the kid's mine, I'm going to take care of the kid. Do you want to be with her? I do. She never cheated, and if she's going to change, yes. And as long as she obeys you and you don't have to get out of line, she don't have to whack her around a little bit, right? I don't whack her around. She puts her hands on me, I put my hands back on her. Who taught you this? Who taught me yeah, this? Yeah, who, ta who taught you that? That's the way I grew up. That's the way you grew up. Well, who'd you, what'd you grow up with, a pack of wolves? You want to consider that? I have to state this. If you're starting instigating a fight and putting your hands on him, you're wrong, OK? But again, and I don't care what anybody thinks, as a man, you need to walk away. You don't hit her back. You don't compound the situation. She's a mother. She's got, you got to walk kids. away. She wants to keep hitting me. What? I get walk frustrated and apartment. I smack her back. Try. I walked out the apartment, walked down the road. She's chasing me down the road. You can't get out of the apartment, but you can kick her in the head. You can punch her in the nope, face. No, never right? kicked her in her head. Never punched Does her in her face. Is that what you're saying? Yes. You can hit her, but you can't get out of the apartment. Well, maybe you should date women that you're tougher than. <laughs> uh, are you a sex offender? Yeah, I went to jail for it, but I didn't do it. Okay. I got railroaded, so got yeah, railroaded. it's on my record. Do you uh, do you abuse her children? No. No? Does he abuse your children? He's never abused my kids. No. Now you know somebody uh, see her today that says otherwise. Yeah. 
You do know that. She's a lying, two-faced bitch. Why would she? Why would she lie? Because she's a backstabbing bitch. She I mean, you're a man she that says, all you're, the time. Wait, hold on a second. You're a man that came out on stage and says, you know what? You know, if I, I this is the well, way my, my morals are to hit a woman. Well, she was so just sitting here it, and trying to disrespect her that you would when hit I a first child? met her. Is it great? <laughs> Discipline a child when it's supposed to be disciplined the way is child it your is children? Dis no. So you're disciplined somebody else's children? She gave me that right. She wanted me to act Did like you a give father. That right? So I'll, he I'm going to discipline him. Out. He slapped her hand once because she went to go grab a uh, cigarette. How old is the child? She's one. Oh, a one year old. Let's slap a one year old because he, she, why are you teaching her? What are you teaching her? Tap her in the hand. hand. Tap her in what are you teaching a one year old? Child. That's not hitting Because one year old can understand. Why it's being hit, right? Yeah, I didn't used to. Let's That's, let's yeah. focus on him right now. The man that kicked you in the head with the steel toe boot, you said. Kick. Actually, if I did kick her, it was in the lower back, but I put my foot on her and pushed her. I didn't kick her. If I kicked her what with a steel you the right toe to put boot, your foot on she would have been in the hospital. What gives you the right to put your foot on her? Because she wanted to choke me and you sit there and she keep smacking me in my face. I pushed okay, her away from I her. I was trying to get my daughter's stuff so I could leave. <laughs> And you came down the hallway and, and kicked me in my face. Because you kept getting in my face in my room. I told you, get your I tried to walk and around you, you and you were in my face calling you me a bitch going in my Brandy, Brandy. You weren't going into my house. This is, and the man, this is the man that you want to be with. This is the man that you want to lay down every night in bed with, roll over, you wake up, and you see this guy next to you? Really? At some point, you have to stand up here and explain yourself. And you have to do it rationally and say, you have to make a case why you love this man. If a man stands on stage and he shows you no affection, no love, no caring, no nothing, and he justifies why he retaliates against you, I don't know why you're with that man. I think the love actually comes from how we were in the beginning. There was no issues between us. And you know what? I believe that because a lot of rela Listen, this, what you just said, I hear almost every day on the stage. In the beginning, in the beginning. In the beginning is always wonderful. The test of a true relationship is over the course of time. How do they treat you then? He has another girlfriend he's been with for a year. Um, girlfriend, we're not dating. We're just sleeping together. Just sleeping together. Man, what is it about you? Man, you're just a uh, chick manic, huh? Can't help it. Can't help it. Let's bring out Lacey. All right, so first oh, of all... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, you guys can get off the stage because you're not gonna come walk out. She's a pregnant woman. Okay. So the only stopping, the only thing stopping him from being with me is that baby. That's not what he told me and I'll tell you that straight up right now. Yeah, because concerning who has he been with for the last two weeks? Who does he I'm want to do every you single he's time he's not with, with you? Me. He's been sleeping with me too. He comes over and sees me and sleeps with me. Well, good, because we're not dating so I don't care. Why do you want to be in love with him? Because I see how he is. He's never laid uh, hands the, on me. And... But the beating her, being a sex offender, sleeping with both okay, of you. Okay, first of all, the sex offender has nothing to do with it. He oh, didn't really? do anything. Because he told and you I'm that, not right? And I'm not going to hold him against it. Okay, how about the fact that he's standing on stage and says he beats another woman? Be I actually agree with him. If a, wo <laughs> if a woman is going to have enough you agree with him until to he hit turns like a man, it on you. Why are you here? Because I want to have a family with him, and he was telling me that's the same thing he wanted. If I could and, put and myself you, on the show, then we were going to get back you together. You want to be in a relationship with Robert? Yes. You're fighting over an abusive, cheating, convicted sex offender. And, yeah, and you and, just had to read that off a card. Yeah, I did. I got a lot of cards I read off. So what? Okay, well, guess what? He's never hit me. Um, he's he... cheated on you. No, because we're, we're not, not dating. dating. So how am I cheating? Okay, he's we're sleeping. Not in a You're having sex with him, right? Yeah. He's having sex with her. And that's his decision. And you're okay with that? If we were dating, it would be different. Rachel, your best friend is here. Mm -hmm. She wants you to leave the fighting over an abusive, cheating, convicted sex offender. Yeah, I read it <laughs> off a card. Let's bring her out. <laughs> Friend. He can't afford anything. He doesn't have a job. He doesn't have a place to live. And you had a baby on the way. Neither do you. You guess what, Randy? You're Randy? a two-faced. You lady. have. I'm not.
talking to you, so shut your care. mouth. Who the hell you shut your mouth to? because this is my sister. I don't and care. And these are my babies. That's why you're a These are my out here. Us for three. You guys aren't together. Okay, right there. You're the stop, one that brought it up. Stop, stop, stop. You're the one that brought it up. I just, I want to ask you a quick question. Here's a man, and now another thing. You're a He's calling your best friend a He's calling another woman a You have no problem with that? I think she is a okay. so not really. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You are one of the dumbest, ignorant people no, I've no, ever had on my I, show. No, And I'm not reading it off the a card now. I'm no, going to tell you straight from your face. You go sleep with any dog that comes down the street. Get off my stage. Yeah. You came here to prove you're not cheating. Yes. To win him back. If it's, it, even if he doesn't want me back, at least I proved something. I have nothing to prove, Hold on, hold on. No, because you know why? He wants to tell me all I want. Hold on, hold on. Stop, stop. Thank you for coming. I'm glad you're supporting your friend. I hope you'll be there for her. I will be. Um, thank you so much. You can, thank you can you. exit. <laughs> Have you had sexual intercourse with another man while in a relationship with Robert? You said no. You told the truth. Could another man be the father of the child you're caring? You answered no. The results are you told the truth. Thank you. You're right. That's all I wanted. Accusations. Right. Accusations. And you, you believe them. To and me I'm that you did it. Hell. Before the, the lie detector test even was given, he confessed. Robert states he has hit you, pulled your hair, kicked you, held you, pushed you down, but only in self-defense. Um, confesses to spanking your child. Slapping her hand and didn't say spanking. I swatted her hand when she we gets We only in write stuff. down what you say, so. Sounds. Were you ever the physical aggressor with Brandy? Do you know what that means? Yeah. Did you understand? When I started it. Okay. And you answered no, and you failed. You didn't tell the truth. Liar. Have you ever punched Brandy with excessive force? You said no, and you didn't tell the truth. Liar. Now, you know this, right? Mm -hmm. This isn't something that you don't know. So, I mean, I guess this is for the audience and the people at home showing that he's a liar. But I don't think anybody was really wondering if he was lying anyways. <laughs> You're just a punky little kid who's all messed up in his yep, head. That's your personal You have no have mentors life, in your life. And whoever style, did mentor lifestyle. you failed you because you are not a man. You don't have the morals of a man. You don't have the morals of a <laughs> Get off my stage. <laughs> you really have this huge responsibility of being a mother. And you, as a mother, have to make good choices not only for yourself, but for your children. And you will shock me if you make a bad decision here. You'll shock me. If, if you lived in a town where he's the only man, then you got to date a tree. I mean, <laughs> you have to pick a door, and it's a door that, you know, you're going to you live your life whatever way you do. Don't try to fool anybody. You're going to live your life. So you go out that door, and Robert's out that door. You go out that door, you have a friend that was here, wants to support you and help you. And there's a whole life of opportunity out there. And there's a life of misery. But some people pick the door of misery. So you don't even have to say a word. The show's over. And go out which door and you tell me who you're going to be with. I really don't know. It's hard. I want him to change, and at the same time, I want to be with my kids. I understand that. I don't know what to choose right now because of everything that he said, that Lacey had said, and then Rachel has. You know what? And, oh. You still have to make a decision. Oh, yeah. You know where you want to go, so why don't you just do it? I want to go that way, but at the then, same time, I want to go that way. You know where you want to go. I know you want to go out that door, so just go out that door. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's gonna watch this and say, you know what, she was brave enough to do that, I can do that too.